today we're doing electricity, um, which is really called an electric potential difference. All right. Um, this is a couple units ago, but remember how kinetic energy was Ke and potential was U. And so uh, UE or U elect uh, makes up part of the mechanical energy. Ke, the potential due to gravity, the potential due to elastic, all that good stuff. It is part of that mechanical energy. Um, the first thing many people think of when they think of electricity is static electricity. We cannot power anything with static electricity. It does not have a movement of charges, so it cannot be used to power things. You can't make your hair frizzy. You can totally shock people. You can totally make your hair frizzy. Oh. Wait, there's a positive electron and negative electron for the momentum? Hmm? Uh, no. If if it's like a big enough charge, yeah, like you, like lightning, I think, yeah, but it's both. Both. So static electricity does not have moving charges, so it cannot be used to power things. Bless you. Um, so when we were talking about electricity, the first thing we're going to learn about is potential difference. Um, this is in this is a difference in the. Uh, uh, in the electric potential energy of two places. So it's the difference in electric potential energy of two places. Nope. Bolt, which we abbreviate with an uppercase B. Your potential difference, what you need to think about when you use a battery or a generator or you plug something in, it's the push. Um, the absolute correct way to do it is to say delta V. What you're going to see, though, is that oftentimes it's just abbreviated with a V. Um, it, it's just we, we are what we are. All right, so battery then is an energy storage device that makes that potential difference by chemical energy. So it uses a chemical, um, Rx and its abbreviation for reaction. So it uses a chemical reaction um, to make that potential difference. Um, a lot of times it has like a salt in there. Wait, is that R times M or just Rx and M? Rx and it's just, it's short for reaction. Um, and then something like a generator uses motion to make that potential difference. So use motion to make that delta V. We good so far? All right. Um, so then the next one we got to talk about is current. Current is abbreviated with an I because it just meant is, and it means the rate of moving charges.
is the rate of moving charges. So here is a cross section of wire. Um, and so if the charges are all moving off to the left, you will actually have a current to the right. Is it true that if you put a battery in the refrigerator, it lasts longer? I don't know. Or freezer or something? I don't know. I know that they last longer if you don't have them just jumbled up in a baggie and you have them like in a storage case so that the terminals aren't brushing one another and getting charges randomly. All right, our SI unit. Is A. And it stands for amp or ampere. There are two types of currents. Uh, batteries provide that direct current in which that current moves in one direction. Um, and then there's alternating current, uh, which constantly switches direction of that current. So who do we think of when we talk about electricity? Alexander Graham Bell. 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 Alexander Graham Bell yeah, made the Alexander, telephone. Yeah. But he used electricity. Franklin uh, studied more static electricity. And it wasn't even him, actually. He sent his nephew out there. He stayed inside the barn on a, ball, on a thing of, of wax. That's really yeah. interesting. Jimmy Fox and Spider-Man. Yes. Me and John agreed on that. If I had a lot of money and I could buy an electric car, what brand would I buy? Oh, Elon Musk. Tesla. Freaking love Elon Musk. All right. Um, so most people associate electricity, except for apparently y'all, um, with Edison and Tesla. And there's actually a movie that came out of, um, last year, two years ago. And Jamie Foxx, of course. But I'm talking, you know, before. Um, about it called The Current Wars. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, but basically, you know, everyone knows that Edison created the light bulbs. Um, except for it probably wasn't him. He had a team of people. Like if he saw someone who he thought was smart or a good inventor, he would bring them into one of his workhouses and then take credit for their inventions. This looks like a sweatshop. I mean, we're not here to judge. It's different times now. Um, and then Nikola Tesla um, kind of worked against him. He worked for him for a little bit, but then kind of branched out on his own. Um, but they argued a lot about what type of current to power to, to bring electricity to, to towns. Um, and they, they would travel around the country pitching direct current or alternating current to all the different city centers and the mayors and stuff. And towns would kind of choose which one to go with. And it was like a big thing. Um, we, uh, we use alternating current right now. Um, Tesla did not win a lot of people over. He really wasn't a good speaker, necessarily. He was very abrupt, very um, hey, matter of fact, to the point. Tesla's dead. Tesla is dead. Yeah, baby. Uh, that's, 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 no, baby. No, it says Tesla. Oh, when did Tesla live? Like, like, oh, I don't know the year. I'm bad. Yeah, I'm bad. Uh, yeah. I'm really bad with dates. Um, anyway, 
But it's interesting, they actually used to do safety experiments to show that one versus the other was more safe or less safe. Um, and there's one that's really sad. They, um, Edison's team brought in a, an elephant that was going to be retired from the circus and applied direct current to it Aww, in front of started. a large crowd and um, Why? to prove that it wasn't safe. Did you see the movie Journey to the Mysterious Island? Uh, no. <laughs> There's this eel that has electricity. So um, there are electric eels. They they, they have ha yes they they can um I mean we're not talking like a large electricity generated yeah, right eels. you're not gonna be able to power a lamp. Um, but it's just a just a, a just a gradient. How do they do that? Um, there's actually cells on the side of their body that can do that, and they can use because they live in water which has ions on it, and so they can kind of use that to um turn in that electricity if you've ever like when we do when I did research with fish um, we would get in a boat and we would put two um, electro ends in the water and run a current through it and so it would electrocute the fish and we had it set to a certain um, amount so it would just stun them so that they could be collected um, weighed measured whatever and then set free um, but it was super dangerous we had to wear like rubber uh, boots and gloves and like but, you know, if you fell in the water, it would be bad. Yeah. Probably. All right. So, um, factors that affect the current. So, what I need to do is think about current like a water in a water hose. So one of the things that can affect current is length, length of the uh, circuit. So we have a shorter one or a longer one. The shorter, the greater the current. It's You're going to get the water quicker from a short hose than you are from a long hose. That's the way that works. Uh, the second one is going to be thickness. Um, which kind of goes to my two, two, two. If you have a thinner hose, your pressure is going to be greater. Than if you have a big fat hose. Material. What material do what's inside most of your what? Copper. Um, if you've ever had your air conditioner stolen or something or seen them um, break into like new houses, they'll steal all the copper from the walls. Have you, have you seen the people that have the, the, the pumps and they're like they go up to people's car and they just steal their gas? Oh, yeah. No, I have not. Crazy. Yeah, there's people doing that now. Texas. So, <laughs> we have copper in most of our, um, it's because it's a really good conductor. Something like iron isn't going to conduct that electricity as well. And the last one is temp. Has anyone ever been in like a server room? Yes. Hot or cold? Hot. It's cold. That colder temperature um, is going to lead to a greater current. That's my thermometer. You're welcome. You know, I'm doing the best I can here. All right. Um, so we have V or delta V. We have I. That's uh, potential difference. Current. Uh, the last one's going to be resistance. This is the opposition of current by a material or device. Um, it can be.
We typically call them resistors, um, which if you're building a circuit, um, you'll have resistors sometimes built in just to make sure your current doesn't get too high. Um, things like light bulbs or lamps are also anything that's going to draw some of that current, some of that potential energy is going to be considered a resistor. Um, so here we have my light bulb, and the actual resistor in that light bulb is going to be that metal filament. It's this filament. And it's going to vary in its resistance. Metal filament. Mm -hmm, the little pearly thing inside the light bulbs. All right, so my SI unit for resistance is the Greek symbol omega. And I suck at drawing it, I'm going to just be honest. Like a horseshoe with little feet. It's like a duck. It's like a duck. How's it? Like a duck. Um, and we actually call it ohm. Ohm. OHM is what it's called. All right, so if you keep your uh, potential difference constant, the less resistors you have, the less resistance, the higher the the current and vice versa. All right, um, and so we show this relationship with Ohm's law. Which is basically that potential difference divided by the current is equal to the resistance. Um, and we're going to practice some underneath your warm-up, but really quick, I thought this was interesting. I thought maybe you would want to, too. So your body is technically a resistor. It, it, can re it has a value of about 500,000 ohms, give or take. No, and that's when it's wet. Um, when you have salt water, when you're in salt water, That value, it can be reduced to about 100 ohms. This is why when it starts to have thunderstorms that they pull you out of the pool. Um, because if that lightning strikes that pool, you have very little resistance in, in that um, water. While it may not be salt, it's going to have ions in there. You, 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 you're going to get zapped. Are you, are you like screwing more if you're in the sea? Mm -hmm. That's why my mom would never let me get in the pool with the mm -hmm. pool cleaner in there. Oh, my mom used to let me get in the pool. That was the best. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's a big difference in numbers. So, you know, stay away from electricity if wet. All right, and um, something called the galvanic skin response, which you've probably never heard of because we don't call it that a whole lot. Um, what we usually call it is either a stress test, which like maybe if your dad had to have his heart checked or something, they'd put him on a st stress test where they'd measure his heart rate and his uh, on a treadmill or something. Uh, we also use this as a lie detector test. Absolutely, exactly. You can actually be trained to um, lie on that. Uh -huh. Um, because it measures um, your resistance. And so as you sweat, your resistance is lowered and it's picked up by the, by the light detection test. Oh, absolutely. No doubt. Any questions about this so far? All right. So Ohm's law is one of those things that we can actually manipulate pretty easily. So we have R equals delta V over I. Uh, you can write this underneath your warm-up. R equals delta V over I. 
which we can manipulate to solve for whatever I want. So let's say I want to solve instead for potential difference. It would be delta V is equal to I times R. And it could also give me current is equal to V over R. So super simple to set it up the way you want it to solve. Since there's only three things. This card one time I'm going to try to use the light picture on you. Because someone broke the neighbor's window and she said it was me, but I didn't hear it. Um, I have a guilty conscience, so I feel like I'm going to always refuse the lie detector test because I will, I, I just, I, I just but feel guilty about it. Like, you, you say a little lie, not the whole thing, that's how you pass it. A little lie. It's just a yes or no question. Like, isn't that, isn't that like weird though? Like, you're like a mom with like friends and everything. Yes. Like, I'm not here to judge anyone's parenting. Um, I'll tell you, since I'm recording. All right, so. Let's say I have a 9 volt battery. And I have a lamp that pulls 5 ohms. What is my current through that circuit? In this case, I want to use this formula I equals V over R, which would be 9 volts over 5 ohms. Which should be about 1.8 amps. Super simple. If instead I had a current of 0.92 amps and a 2 oh, ohm resistor, what's my voltage to solve for my potential difference? Delta V is equal to I times R, which would just be 0.92 times 2. Which would be 1.84. Any questions about this? It's uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward so far.